back at Fets YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Let us make this chicken, spinach and red pepper stuffed shells. My darling so it's a monday night and i feel for something fancy so we're going to be making this chicken stuffed shells i'm going to be seasoning my chicken make sure to check down below in the description box for all of the ingredients that i'm using to season it up and then i'm going to give it a good mix and set it aside to marinate for at least 15 minutes For this recipe, I'm also going to be using this roasted bell pepper. It was in my oven for at least 20 minutes and now I'm just going to go ahead and chop it up and remove all the seeds. I also found some frozen spinach in my freezer. I just thaw it out in the microwave for about a minute and I'm just gonna give it a rough chop. It's also gonna go in that filling and if it's something that you do not want to add, you can definitely leave it out. But I always try to add a little bit of spinach whenever I can, especially when I'm cooking for my family. So in a clean pot, I just added in some water and some sea salt. I'm using this Luma Corny pasta and I'm going to add a generous amount to my boiling water and allow it to cook for about 8 to 10 minutes. Once cooked, I'm going to go ahead and drain it off and set it to one side while we work on the chicken filling. In a clean pot, I went in with some olive oil and some butter, allow it to melt, make sure your heat is sort of like on a low to medium and now I'm just going to be cooking my chicken breast pieces for about 6 to 8 minutes. You want to cook it for about 4 or 5 minutes on either side until cooked through and no longer pink and then set it to one side once they're all cooked. Once my chicken was cooked, I removed it from the pot and using the same pot, I'm going to saute some garlic and some of my roasted red peppers. After a minute, you want to go in with your double cream. I'm using this plant-based double cream. I'm going to add in some 
paprika and some all-purpose seasoning in there as well followed by my red Leicester cheese you can use parmesan cheese you can use whatever cheese you prefer Now adding in that chopped spinach and giving it a good mix. Guys, it's already looking so amazing. I removed some of the sauce that I will reserve for later and now I'm just adding in my chopped chicken that's already cooked. Give it a good mix and oh my goodness guys can you see how amazing this is looking? I think this will make the perfect dip if you have some tortillas and you just want to have a nice night in but yes. Let's stay on track with the recipe at hand. After this is all cooked I set it to one side because it's time to stuff our shells. So guys, it's now time to assemble these shells. I have my filling here, which is looking beautiful. And the first thing I want to do is to just spread a generous amount of the sauce onto the tray. Once done, I'm going to proceed with filling in my shells. And oh my goodness, guys, this was so wonderful.
I'm now gonna top it with some cheddar cheese and I'm gonna pop it into the oven for no more than 15 minutes to bake. Once baked, this is how it looked. Oh my goodness, guys, this was so, so tasty. So I really hope you enjoy the recipe. Try it soon, let me know how you like it. It has been a pleasure having you here and I'll see you again in my next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.